they're beyond an eyesore. It looks like a war zone down there. It's bringing down the property values of the citizens. Well, at the beginning of the year, First News reported on the City of Camel's plan to demolish the former Seton Tube Company homes. When we first spoke with city officials and landlords, both sides agreed the demolition was necessary. Now some landlords feel the homes can be fixed. First News Weekend Morning anchor Samantha Bender shares that story. If you ask George Lavendis, enough is enough. The Camel City Council president says the former sheet and tube company homes are beyond repair. The roofs are caving in. Um, you know, they're all filled with asbestos. There's a serious drug problem. Though, if you ask Timothy Sokoloff, who owns about 10 units on Chambers Street, he agreed with the initial demolition. But what remains is not in that case. What remains is fixable, usable, um, savable. Uh, as a matter of fact, I mean, I've been living in my apartment for 16 years and now they want to tear it down. Lavendis argues Sokoloff has had over 16 years to get the properties in order. He's had ample time to get these properties in livable condition. They're not even inhabitable, let alone livable. The city is partnering with the Mahoning County Land Bank to clean up the area and tear the houses down. A whole row has already been demolished and the city is considering putting a park in place of the properties. Sokoloff has been vocal about trying to save the site because of its history. This is where modern living began. This is the first modern apartment complex ever built, the first prefab. When people were coming over from Europe, from Ellis Island, this was the new hope, this was the new way. I understand the historic value of some of these properties, you know, saving some of them is doable. but. The majority need to come down and we're going to lose that round of money, but the city's still going to move forward with them d demolishing them with city money. Lavendis says realistically about three units total could potentially be saved. Meantime, Sokoloff is planning to file an appeal of the demolition with the city. In Camel, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.